नमस्कार इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड साइंस आई डिस्कस द एवेल्यूएशन ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी ऑन ए साइंटिफिक बेसिस टुडे आई विल डिस्कस द साइंटिफिक ट्रेंड इन एप्लाइड एस्ट्रोलॉजी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग डिस्कशन आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल and if you are new to my channel subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon next to it to select all and keep getting updates on each of my videos and listen to important discussions on astrology and spirituality i have started a program to teach astrology on youtube you can take the membership by clicking on channel's join button and learn astrology at home come back to the main discussion among the educated people who discuss applied astrology almost all of them say that astrology is a science not only in our country but also the astrologers of western countries say this but they say it's an occult science i think this mystery and science that means occult and science these two words are contradictory maybe the people of today's society have not yet reached the basics and logic of this science so why would it be secret science i think there is no such things as occult science in the world we can master many arts and crafts whose science is completely unknown to us i don't know if we have the right to say that there is no science behind the art every art is based on a science applied astrology is also an art with this art the past future present prediction of individual or the state can be said with the position of the planets and stars that means constellations there must be coherent science behind it giving example will make the point clearer we are bengalis we can express our thoughts by speaking or writing in bengali for that some bengali words have to be arranged according to certain rule there are three sciences behind using language to express thoughts those are word science grammar and ornamentation but although we can write and speak the bengali language more or less efficiently it is true that we do not have the knowledge of these three science behind it if anyone say that there is no word science grammar or ornamentation in bengali language or it is impossible to be then it would be the same mistake to call the science of applied astrology as secret science our housewives make a variety of delicious dishes in the kitchen the yogi can speak one's mind they can read one's mind but their scientific rules are unknown to them that is to say none of this is secret science all are the result of natural law the fact is that those natural laws are not classified in the scientific sense so all these art have remained gurumukhi that means learning by listening from teacher just as housewives learn to cook by hand with their mother or mother in law they move around a little according to their own intellect and make it more delicious so the yogis also move what they have received from their teacher guru according to their own wisdom as a result the path to greater discovery is blocked by science being unknown all their power has come to an end only with establishment of small personal achievements like yoga or mantra shastra astrology has also become gurumukhi in our country as a result its science never matured 
astrologers have greatly exaggerated the application of applied astrology because the achievement of application is the key to personal establishment one of the major disadvantage of this that the intellect people who if they wished to try it would have discovered the scientific side of it and brought a scientific trained in applied astrology but lost all the energy in their brains just counting the future prediction of some people's lives there are many famous astrologers in our country and some of them even tried their best but they could not give a complete scientific form to astrology for example jyoti vachaspati narayan chandra jyotirbhushan mahasaya kalipada bhattacharya mahasaya ganapati sarkar mahasaya narendra bagal mahasaya haryana majindar mahasaya of west bengal india and other eminent persons were tireless in this regard the name of dr b b raman of south india may also be mentioned all of them were scholar and had a deep knowledge of astrology in addition many people of medical science are doing research on this scripture dr k s charak who is ms that means master of surgery and he also has frcs degree from uk in his book essential of medical astrology he has beautifully explained the relations of planets with diseases of human body and the limbs of the human body he also mentioned that he wrote these from the combination of his professional experience and the application of astrology dr jagannath dal who is mbbs maas explained almost the same thing in his book medical astrology besides this many science students in india are doing various researches in this scripture yet why is there are no conclusive information and logic to prove astrology as a science to all the people of the world that is beyond my small intellect the real work of science is classification and generalization by causation in order to do that all aspects of science need to be pointed out in clear and unambiguous language the application of a word in more than one sense wherever we accept it does not accept in science if applied astrology is to be shaped by science then this is the first thing to look at first of all what is the real meaning of each technical word in applied astrology astrological predictions are based on the sign of the zodiac the houses the planets and the constellation and the relationship between them controversy is still raging over what is the substance of zodiac signs and houses are no one gave logic or try to explain what is right he who has written the formula of judgment based on the opinion of someone that he adheres to he follows the same in indian astrology what is called aries in western astrology most of it includes in taurus which of these is correct needs to be determined first then another thing the zodiac signs are the base of applied astrology the position of planets and the houses has to be mentioned with zodiac signs scientifically we cannot say that the planet is in aries according to indian astrology and in taurus according to western astrology or according to indian astrology the ascendant is leo according to western astrology the ascendant is virgo there are many astrologers in our country who say when i judge according to indian method i will judge according to the sign written in the indian scriptures and when i judge according to western method i will accept the sign written in the western scriptures according to them whatever the system is followed the result will be the same 
how this can possible is incomprehensible to my little intellect if aries and taurus have the same result in leo ascendant and virgo ascendant there is no difference then all this talented astrologer will be able to tell how the judgment will be just as there is disagreement about the zodiac signs there is also disagreement about the houses and planets more about the zodiac signs that the houses and the planets it is unknown how many opinions there are about their relationships if applied astrology is to be given a scientific set then the definition of this primitive thing must be clearly indicated and for whatever reason the definitions are being pointed out on the basic of what reasoning must be clearly stated there are three categories of astrology the first is the mathematical side the second is the calculation of forces and third is the interpretation the mathematical side is to indicate which planets or house are in which sign so first of all we need to indicate the actual and undisputed definition of the zodiac signs and the houses and the planets cyan zodiac or movable zodiac is right or nirayan or fixed zodiac is right if nirayan zodiac is correct then it is necessary to show the reasonable reasons why nirayan zodiac is correct and cyan zodiac is not correct similarly there are different methods calculating the houses which of the methods is correct and why then the substance of the houses also needs to be determined are they just dots or a massive substance like the zodiac signs the matter of the planets they need to be understood western astrologers generally do not recognize rahu and ketu as planets but uranus and neptune are considered planets on the other hand most of the indian astrologers do not consider uranus and neptune as planets but rahu and ketu as planets in order for astrology to be established on a scientific basis it is necessary to eliminate all the confusion of these basic things first although these things are not well understood by common people i am referring to the fact that i want to get to the very beginning of the astrology that is to arrive at an accurate or scientific idea of what its mathematical basis is no one has a clear idea about this everyone relies on books he who judges according to the book blindly follows the book's instructions i am not taking about the mistake of almanac or low quality astrology software i assume the calculations are accurate from pure almanac or good quality software i also do not currently in include uneducated or less educated astrologers or tantric astrologers who have opened a business of cheating people by spending a lots of money on advertisement knowing a little bit about astrology but nevertheless my discussion is about the differences between astrologers there are various opinions on mathematical basis but not all of them can be true in order to turn astrology into science one must first determine which of these view is correct and why in all sciences various scholars have given different arguments for one thing but the scientific community did not accept all the arguments accepting the arguments that has been proven to be effective they have abandoned the rest otherwise it would not have been possible to develop a science of good relation scientists have adopted sir isaac newton's law of gravity but his argument for light has been dismissed as irrational and no rules have been tested in astrology in that way everyone who likes what has promoted that as the best 
the translation of original sanskrit text was not correct in all cases and now a lot of incompetent people are writing books as they wish and the one who is following that book is accepting it as the best that is why i said in the first video of astrology education that there are lots of misleading astrology books in the market it needs to be corrected no more today sometimes later in a video i will discuss the scientific reasoning of astrology according to the opinion of sri jyoti vachaspati mahasoy if you like this video and you are interested in it namaskar no